All right, all right. Hello, you guys, and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. Let's get into this, shall we? It's just my view. Hey. <laughs> I digress. all right you guys hello and welcome if you're new please do not forget to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time i upload okay let's get into this okay so um yeah you guys know i've been following the whole 90 day fiance shabakal with and i say that quite often shabakal huh? that's my new word but um anyways i've been following the whole 90 day fiance shabakal with um jay and Ashley, okay, nothing has really just transpired since um, everything, but you guys know that he's out on bail in regards to his whole deportation, so that's still up in the air. However, he has been um, um, publicized to have a new girlfriend named Kayla, and I gave you guys some skinny on her, gave you her, her IG and all her information, everything like that, and that was confirmed. They're out with pictures and things like that, right? So, this is the thing, okay? So here recently, I noticed on Jay's page that all of her pictures are gone. Like all of their pictures that they had together or whatever has been archived, baby. Like he has nothing on there. And then he, um, and also I'm just, just to be, you know, clear because I'm very fair. I've noticed that she has been liking pictures or whatever, you know. And then when I went over to her page, all of the pictures are still up, you know, so I don't know. This is just could be my spidey senses tingling, but I could be on to something. I think they've broken up or taken a break or whatever the case may be, but something is not clean in the buttermilk in regards to them because, like I said, he archived all her pictures, you know, and then just a few hours ago, um, I want to say yesterday because it's like 16 hours, but he did this live. Check this live out. And the portion that stuck out to me is what I recorded. Check this live out and you tell me if that's okay for a single, I mean, for a dude that's in a relationship. Check it out. Tattoos and stuff. So if you want to get tattoos, if you want to chill with Jay, DM me and I'm going to tell you what to do, all right? No joke. No joke. Ever since I've been on a laptop, I always want to do this. I always want to travel and do tattoos. I want to start it the 14 and the 15 so if you guys want to get tat if you guys want to get tat dm me we can link up we can chill for the day whatever we can have fun so let me know dm me inbox me if you got my business call if you got my number whatever dm me all right y'all have a blessed night i gotta go to my boss house right now because he's cooking some food and i'm hungry as shit I need to get some food. I, oh my god, I look cute. Hey. Hey. Mm. Ooh. Mm. All right. Remember, DM me, right? New York, the 14 and the 15. The 14 and the 15. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. If you're in New York and you want to get tat. DM me and I'm gonna follow up with you guys, alright? I'm gonna bring some any, we can chill. We got any! Alright. Okay, so you guys seen that live and you saw how he's saying, you know, he's gonna be in New York. That's not the issue. He's saying he's gonna be there Saturday and Sunday. That's not the issue. He said that he's gonna do tattoos and this is what he wanted to do. That's not even the issue. The issue is, is that, did y'all see that last ending part where a couple of things, first and foremost, he was talking about, oh yeah, I'm cute. He was responding to the comments, like, yeah, you know, he was taking it in. Then the kicker was, DM me, we can kick it, we can have fun. Who are you kicking with and having fun with if you're in a whole full-blown relationship? You feel me? And I'm sorry, but the Black Negro Domus has struck again. I told y'all, I said, you know what? I don't see this relationship 
going any far further than what it is because how you get somebody is how you're gonna lose them check out this flashback and you tell me if i wasn't spot on i don't condone jay cheating on ashley but I don't condone Ashley cheating on Jay either. I don't condone the fact that Mary, that you're talking to this boy, be it he's 17, be it he was 18, be it he was 19 or 20. He is not displaying any kind of maturity. He was not. He was not displaying any kind of maturity. Up until even the, the show, whenever he was in the barbershop and he was talking about getting married and stuff like that, he looked like he was scared, like a little puppy dog. To see how long this relationship lasts, if it lasts, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Tell me what you think. Okay, so you guys were able to check out that flashback. Now, I told y'all, I told y'all, I said it. And I could be wrong, they still could be in a relationship, but she's a fool. Because he already showed you his character by how he did Ashley. And so you're going to put on your cape and think you're going to be super saver. And no, because he's still a kid. You guys got to allow this little boy to mature and grow up. He's still in that phase. And especially now with fame and people knowing him and stuff like that. Oh, babe, please. Girl, no. So, I don't know if they could still be together. But I just thought that was very, like, uh, not cool. You know, that's very disrespectful. You trying to make arrangements. Because, I mean, come on now. We not stupid. You tell me you going to spend some time with somebody. DM you. We can hook up. We can have some fun. I'll bring the Hennessy. And you know Hennessy gets people, you know, a little crazy. You know, warm and fuzzy and tingly all inside. You know, and uh, stuff happens. You know, and I don't know. I don't even know. But like I said, she's just been, you know, I, I saw her um you know, uh, up under his comments, but the last post she made, if I'm not mistaken, was like August 14th, August 17th, or what have you, of a picture, you know, talking about some, um, uh, the, the, the earth and the jewels and stuff like that can be found here, and that was pretty much it, you know, and, um, and here we are in September, and she hasn't posted anything. Now, people are, are, are stating that she is pregnant, and she's just trying to stay out of sight, out of mind, but I still don't believe that, because, you know, I mean, come on now, you know, but I don't know. I could be right or wrong, but people was getting that whole sonogram that he did misconstrue what he was expecting, and he wasn't. The whole sonogram was trying to be funny because the baby looked like it was smoking a blunt. But anyways, so I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that they're still together, or are you with me and you're giving everything a side eye and saying, hmm, I don't know if they're still together, you know, but... I don't know. I don't feel sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. Sorry, not sorry. Because how you get a, a person is how you're going to lose them. You go into a situation right, you still got a 50% chance that it could still go sour. So that's why you got to make sure that you do your due diligence to get a person right. You knew, and he still is, married to this woman, regardless of the circumstance and situation. Well, God has joined together, shall no man put thunder. You don't mess with marriages, period. You know, and I say that as a woman when I was in my younger years and immature and didn't know no better, did that. I used to, I've talked to um, married men knowingly and unknowingly, and bad shame on me, and I reaped the consequences thereof. But then as life went on and I got mature and knew better, I did better. And I held myself accountable, you know what I'm saying? And so the thing is, is that, come on, Kayla, girl, you should have known better if y'all not together. And if you are together, it's going to, it's going to happen. You know, you're going to, you're going to lose him the same way that you got him, you know? And so, I don't know, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Um, do you, again, like I said, agree with me and you're just like, hmm, yeah, I don't know if they're together anymore, you know, um, or do you believe that they're together and she's just, you know, laying it low, letting him do his thing? She's okay with him doing his thing. I don't know. I just, it's just craziness. But while you're there, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, do not forget to click that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Well, this has been Whitney D. Reviews of Whitney D. And I'm out. <laughs> Bye. I agree. Signing off. Deuces.